video of getting on ready with me i went ahead and took off my makeup and just showing y'all lately what i've been doing to my skin i hope you guys enjoy this video if you're new don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to give me a like hey guys so i wanted to do a little get unready with me take off all my makeup for the day and just get unwind and do everything i usually do before bed the baby is already in bed it is like 7 45 right now so we've been out all day i'm tired my hair is greasy i'm about to take a shower so i just wanted to get all unready and have y'all just see my little night routine I'm about to take a shower and i wanted to just show y'all what i've been using on my skin um, what i've been doing to remove all my makeup and things that i've been using as of lately that have been working with me for my fungal acne and everything and i wanted to update you guys on my fungal on my fungal acne situation so first things first i'm gonna put up my hair to get it out the way it's so greasy i'm gonna wash my hair today i get it out the way then i take off all my jewelry and i i usually take off my jewelry and put my hair up in my beauty room because i don't like leaving my jewelry in the restroom because then it can get all it can oxidize with the water and the moisture and all that but for the video i'm just gonna do it in here i'm gonna use the cleansing towels these are the evening calm ones and they're paraben free um, i haven't had any flare-ups with the fungal acne and these so speaking of the fungal acne i'm going to be updating you guys on that while i'm taking off my makeup um since i stuck to the regimen of my video using the nizerol i cleared the fungal acne on my face guys and it has not came back like it hasn't came back at all even after giving birth and everything like my skin is back to being oily still you know a little dry sometimes but not as dry as it was when i was pregnant and honestly i get so many messages about like how long did it take to clear up and my fungal acne cleared up super quick as when i started using the treatment within two weeks i had a completely clear skin what took a little longer was like my chest right here um that took the longest to clear up just because i think i wasn't like um on top of it like i was with my face but it really works you guys stick to the regimen using the nice raw now i like i said i don't have any like at all no fungal acne at all like my skin is just smooth um what i use i still use stuff to prevent it from happening are all I want to say like once every month like once a month i'll do the nicer all um shampoo as a face mask and everything and um, i still stick with that i'll let just one is perfect just to kind of get my makeup off and in the shower i'll get more of my makeup off like once i'm in there but if i have heavy makeup so if i have a lot of makeup on my face and i need something more than just like a wipe i will use the albaline this is a really good makeup remover and it's safe for fungal acne this does not irritate my face and it really takes everything off i used to use mercilla water from garnier but that i think it would burn my um it would cause me to have fungal acne and it would burn my skin really bad so just this alone was is really really good and it's super cheap it's a huge tub too so i'm gonna get in the shower and in the shower i'm gonna be using the vanny cream gentle facial clean cleaner like my talk so i'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower now and i'm gonna be using the vanny cream gentle cleanser to remove all my makeup by bringing down my neck and everything this is a really good cleanser it's very gentle perfect for sensitive skin acne prone skin fungal acne this is perfect it's just a trial size this is the origins ginseng refreshing scrub cleanser and i haven't had any issues i don't use this every day i use it about once a week and i've been monitoring my skin to make sure that i'm not seeing any types of breakouts coming back or anything like that and i really like this i love how it makes my skin nice and smooth and it like gives me like I don't know it just refreshes my skin i love the orange scent so i really like this i haven't seen a shower and i will be back sorry i wanted to share shampoo i've been using recently it is the dove oxygen moisture along with the l'oreal rebalancing conditioner this is perfect this is a good duo if you have oily hair i have really dry ends and an oily scalp and this 
this one is specifically for that for like oily fine hair i love it but they were actually out of the shampoo so i decided to pick up this oxygen moisture which is for fine hair as well and i really have been loving these two together i think next time i'm gonna pick up the shampoo and conditioner of this one to give it a shot uh, see how it works on me just got out the shower brushing out my hair cotton now and my Thayer's Witch Hazel. And I just start putting it all over my skin. I really focus in my T-zone area, my nose. I don't do this um, like in the morning and the evening. I only use the Witch Hazel once, once a day. That way it doesn't overstrip my skin. I wanted to talk about a moisturizer. This is from the brand Crave. I don't know if you can see it, it looks like this. It's Oat oh So Simple Water Cream. Now this one was sent to me, but I'm not being paid to say anything about it or anything. It was sent to me because they specifically reached out to me because of the fungal acne situation. This is perfect for fungal acne. It only has 10 ingredients and it has no fillers or anything like that. It's just um, oats and water and like other simple ingredients it has no fragrance I've been using it at nighttime and also I've used it during the day to see if it make me oily and it doesn't and it has not broken out my skin it feels super hydrating I really really have been loving this moisturizer you guys and I'm not even gonna lie to you and say like, oh, I know all about it because I really don't. They did send me like a little pamphlet that had like more information on it, but I just saw that it was fungal, um, specifically made for, you know, people with fungal acne or fungal skin, very sensitive skin, uh, acne prone skin and stuff. And it intrigued me and I've been loving it. It's like super hydrating. Um, it reminds me of the Thatcha, Thatcha water cream. So I will be linking them down below. They have an Instagram, Crave Beauty. Really, really good. Really, really good. I've been loving this. And like I said, I've used it in the morning as well. And I didn't feel like I got oily or anything like that throughout the day. So this is my night moisturizer. Before I use an eye cream, I use the Etude Collagen Eye Cream. I love this stuff. I'm almost out of it. I go in heavy with this. And I focus a lot on my eyes, my under eye area. And I even put a little bit on my forehead <laughs> for wrinkles, you guys. But yeah, um, as far as my fungal acne situation, like I, once I cleared it up, you guys, I have not had a breakout at all. Thank God, like that situation was bad i can't believe i had it for so long and the thing is like when i think when i sat there and really thought about it and found out exactly what it was i had been suffering with that with flare-ups i had been suffering with flare-ups of fungal acne for years like honestly years i had seen old pictures of me where my skin was like completely irritated and red and once i stuck to the regimen and my previous video that i will link down below gone in a week about a week and a half it really really went away and i have had no issues no breakouts and nothing and if i feel like it's coming back if i feel like i'm starting to break out i will just use the nizerol and it works really good my husband also uses it every time that he goes and gets a haircut like because sometimes they can get like the barber you know um pass on bacteria whatever and like he'll get a breakout on the back of his head and he always freaks out and one time I told him use the nice roll and see if like it helps and it did and like he loves to use that as well now so that is that is all I've been doing for my skin now it is nighttime um usually I will have some tea I've been loving this tea called um what is it called stress stress free or something like that I'll show y'all right now with a little bit of agave I love to have that with some berries at night and a banana and I am perfect to go to bed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.